the microbiome is your body's ecosystem. As you know, in nature, if one thing goes awry in the ecosystem, it affects everything. One interesting fact that most people don't know is that we are more microbial than we are human. Our microbes outnumber our human cells by a factor of 10 to 1. So that means we are 90% microbial. If that doesn't tell us how important it is to make sure our microbiome is intact and properly balanced, I don't know what does. The interesting thing is that our paradigm around medicine for the last 70 years is that we should kill anything that is a pathogenic threat. The problem with this paradigm is that in killing the bad, we're also killing the good. And in doing so, we've actually destroyed the very system that is in place to protect us. And that system is called the microbiome. And without restoring that system to its natural state, we'll never be able to live the healthy lives as we are meant to live. the stomach acids and enzymes into the intestinal tract alive to have their effect. Many probiotics on the market fail to keep the probiotics alive in significant numbers through the stomach. There is a substantial number of probiotics that are on the market today that are not effective. And unfortunately, that's because a large percentage of probiotics are manufactured in capsules. Capsules is not the most effective delivery technology for probiotics. And the reason that is is because probiotic powder is hygroscopic. It's, it's freeze-dried. It's lyophilized. They're fermented in a nice, warm atmosphere. They want to get back to where they were fermented from. Just like babies are born in a nice, warm womb, they, you know, they, they prefer to be there. And, they, and they're exposed to the air when they're born and they cry. Well, probiotics die. And so probiotics are hygroscopic. They're seeking out moisture where they, wherever they can find it. And capsules, unfortunately, have anywhere from 3 to 13% moisture. And so the probiotic powder inside the capsule will literally start wicking the moisture away from the capsule shell and start killing the probiotics inside that capsule. There's really three things that are detrimental to probiotics, heat, air, and moisture. And unfortunately, with capsules, you have two of those elements present. You have the moisture level of the capsule shell itself, plus you have air captured inside the capsule. So if you ever pick up a capsule and you shake it, you can hear the powder inside. Well, that means it's not compressed in there. That's also detrimental to the probiotics and it starts killing the probiotics inside the capsule. So when somebody buys a probiotic in their health food store, in some cases they may not know when that product was manufactured. Um, and so at the point that they buy it, they may not know if there's any probiotics even remaining alive in that probiotic capsule. And if there is, once that capsule reaches in the stomach acid, less than 4% of those organisms are going to survive to actually reach the intestinal tract alive. You have some probiotic products that are in powders. There's no protection for the probiotic organisms if you take it in a powder form, so it's immediately attacked by the stomach acids. And also now you see some probiotics that are in liquid form, so the likelihood of that surviving through the stomach acids is, is very slim. products into our lab and a vast majority of those products don't meet the label claim that they have on the label. Sixty to seventy percent of the payload of the probiotic tablet to the intestinal tract. We monitor our biotract products through dissolution testing at pH 2.5 acid exposure for 30 minutes, and have shown that in general we can produce a formula probiotic that will allow up to sixty or seventy percent of the viable cultures to pass. 
unprotected cultures, such as cultures in plain capsules, might only allow 4% of their viable product through the stomach. So if you go into your favorite health food store, lots of times you'll see where probiotics are in a refrigerator. Well, I can almost guarantee you that those probiotics are probably either in powder form or they're in a capsule form. That's because they almost have to be refrigerated to maintain their shelf life stability in the bottle. Whereas the, the live back technology ensures shelf life stability at room temperature, which is about 70 degrees. And so we have several patented processes for treating those probiotics sort of with kid gloves. They're very sensitive probiotics, and so we treat them very gently. In addition to proper supplementation with probiotics, we highly recommend that you focus as much as possible on a diet high in plant-based foods. The more fruits and vegetables you can eat, the better. Studies have shown that our bacterial makeup can change within a matter of days based on the food that we eat. And we also know that prebiotics are so important, and those come from indigestible fibers that make it past your stomach into your small and large intestine so that they feed the actual probiotic organisms.